Since its foundation, the University of Tokyo has aspired to be not only an outstanding research institution, but also an educational institution whose aim is to produce people who combine high levels of specialized knowledge with their own unique individualities and sensibilities. The UT President Awards were instituted in the autumn of 2002 to commend individuals and organizations of exceptional achievement. The first group of winners were a motley crew, including a student novelist who had previously been awarded the prestigious Yukio Mishima Prize for Literature, a Chinese student who had been engaged in international exchange activities between Japan and China, and a group of cheerleaders who are popular with many sports clubs. One of the prize winners was Atsushi Yamada, a student who hit the headlines for his astonishing achievement in conquering the highest peaks on seven continents. Atsushi Yamada began his enterprise in 1999 when he climbed the peak of Mount Kilimanjaro, the highest peak on the African continent. He then set about scaling the highest peaks on all the other continents. With his ascent of Mount Everest in May 2002, at the age of 23 years and 9 days, he achieved the remarkable feat of becoming the youngest climber ever to have scaled the highest mountains on all seven continents. It was after he'd entered the university that Atsushi learned that there is a title for climbing the highest peaks on seven continents, and he was determined to take on this bold challenge. After considerable trial and tribulation, he eventually gained the glory of success. One of the factors that enabled me to conquer the highest peaks in seven continents is the way I go about things in real earnest once I've developed an interest in something. This applies not just to my mountaineering activities. When I'm interested in something, I'll give it everything I can muster. Among the best features of the University of Tokyo are the superb training facilities, the buildings, and the campus. We're very fortunate that everything is so spacious. Another unusual student is Megumi Takemoto, in her fourth year in the Faculty of Education, who raised everyone's eyebrows as the first female member of the university's baseball team. Megumi had only ever played softball until leaving senior high school, and she had had no experience whatsoever of baseball. But after much dedicated effort, she eventually realized her dream of getting up onto the mound as a pitcher at the Jingu Stadium, where every Japanese baseball player dreams of appearing. I set my sights on the six universities belonging to the baseball league because I wanted to play baseball at a truly competitive level. I aimed at the University of Tokyo in particular because I felt it offered the best facilities both for study and for sport. I entered the university in the College of Arts and Sciences and would normally have gone on to study economics, but I decided to change course to the Faculty of Education. I think it's great that the university has a system enabling students to change faculties even after they've got in. The exceptional achievements of these two students, Atsushi Yamada and Megumi Takemoto, provoked enormous interest in the outside world. The spirit of challenge and the resourcefulness evinced by this pair are sure to stand them in good stead once they set about making their ways in the world. The ideal type of education, as envisaged by the university, is to provide students with a wide range of opportunities and knowledge, and enable them to find their own sense of creativity, all the while respecting each and every student's individuality.